guys. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm in the club right now and the music's kind of loud. I might have to put background music in as well because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Um, where's the club? Uh, it's empty right now. We are pretty short on girls tonight. And not gonna lie, just in general, the strip club's been pretty dry. It's been pretty dry, which is why I haven't been posting like weekly stripper vlogs. Um, but I took a break. It's over. I'm back. I'm in the locker room. Again, all the girls are downstairs working. I'm here. I might go walk around because it's fun to do. And until I start getting some buckets to count, I have nothing to do. But I can kind of show you like my little setup that I got going on now. Because in my video where I showed you what's in my house mom bag, some things have changed. So let me show you what I bring or like my new setup now. This is my little table that we got. We got the money counter over here, paper clips, rubber band scissors. This is my money bag. I can show you what's inside. Uh, I have my Red Bull, my China fan. We got the bins because in the video where I showed you what's in my house mom bag, the door hook, like the, I guess it's a shoe holder that I have over the door, was not practical. It kept falling off, so we went to bins. And this works better because it's better to store in here. So I have like tampons, gum, floss, super glue, like some vapes. So I have that going on. All hair stuff. Sorry for the noise, guys. This is what it's like. It's loud. It's loud. So we got hair stuff, body stuff. These are bags of snacks, ramen, all that. So this is my new setup. Let's do it. What's in my house mom bag? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to show you what's in my money bag house mom version. First thing is tips. My china fan that I love so much. We got this brush from my wig from Sephora. If you watch my birthday vlog, I got that. Hand sanitizer that says clean on it. Uh, and then this NARS lipstick. It's pretty basic, guys. And then my charger, but I'm actually, like, my phone is plugged in right now, so. And then paraphernalia. That's it. Keep it simple. Oh, and then I keep the sticky note thing for, like, things I need for next week. So, like, next week I need black socks, super glue, and a curling iron. Um, I need hot tools. I keep forgetting to bring them. But I have a, a flat iron here. Speaking of, I'm going to brush my wig. Um, I have a flat iron and I have my blow dryer here. I'm getting a little stringy looking, so let's smooth it out. So when there's nothing to do, like earlier, um, So, when I'm not helping the girls because I get here at about 8. So, there's girls who get here like earlier. What did I do? I gave um, food. Like, I gave out some like Oreos. <laughs> um, I did hair, like, I do hair. So, I help curl the girls' hair. And then I gave a massage because I give massages. Um, what else did I do? Gave out some bobby pins and then also gave out um, perfume. Let me put you on some stripper smell good, okay? This Viva Las Vegas Sweet. Let me put you all some game. It's cheap and it works and it smells good. So, yeah put you all on some other game of what we got in here. This is almost gone. This is 
into the night. It's shimmery. You can kind of tell. It's got some shimmers in it. From Bath and Body Works. Um, this one I got from Rainbow online. We don't have a rainbow near me, so I order offline. This is Adriana Trance. That's another one. And the last one I have here at work is Sugar Magnolia. And I got this. I, I think I got that off Rainbow too, otherwise Walmart. But I think it was Rainbow. I could be wrong. But yeah. It's been in the pretty dry guys but that apparently is the strip club uh, standard I appreciate that that is the strip club standard right now that I'm watching from other girls videos so I'm not gonna take it too personal and um, Next week we have a NFL game last week. So let's talk about last week. Last week's game was on a Monday. I worked Friday, Saturday, and I'm gonna tell you it was a regular ass weekend. Like regular, okay? I think I walked away with like just over $300 for the entire weekend, which I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, um, it was regular as hell. This week there's no, it's an away game this week, so it's not in town. Next week is going to be home on a Sunday, early afternoon, so I, I'm crossing my fingers it's going to be a good night, so we'll find out. Stay tuned, we'll see what else we get into tonight. It's currently like 10 o'clock, about 10-ish right now, so... Stay tuned. Hi again. Um, it's one o'clock in the morning now. It is very dry in this club tonight. Like, very dry. <sighs> so, you know. Let's see. I just got all this. I'm just organizing tips right now. We've got all the security cameras right there. Return all, this is my water. <laughs> In my purse. So what you do, return all the ones to the cashier, bring the baskets back downstairs and leave. Hey, 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 I am at the bank. I have all of this to deposit. You know, big money, big money. So I'm gonna, just say it is the mother trucking slow season at the strip clubs and it's not just where I live um, if you watch any other stripper vlogger uh, or 
or stripper YouTube channel, like you know that it's been the complaint amongst a lot of us who work in the strip club that it is dry and dead as hell. So, I personally, I started working at the strip club in the holiday season when people had money. <laughs> Um, so like this period right now, I cannot relate to and I don't have past experience, but what from my seeing and hearing from everyone else is that it's a slow season due to back to school, mainly kids, school supplies, kids going off to college, whatever, like people just spend a lot of money on getting their kids and what and their families ready for back to school. I would hope that next, like it's now October, I'm hoping that it is not as dead and as dry. So surviving slow season, I'm very glad that I have an, a very reliable nine to five. I, I love my nine to five. It's a corporate business job. Like I have really good benefits, a lot of time off, paid time off. So like I said, working at the strip club is a hot, like a side hustle for me, but it's been rough it's been really rough and I just don't know when it's gonna start picking up again and like I said I'm gonna backtrack I was trying to say is it's really weird for where I live because I live in an NFL city if you follow me on social media it's really not that hard to figure out where I work <laughs> um, but it's really weird because our first regular season home game was two weeks ago now um, and it was on a Monday night so I worked Friday I worked Saturday it was literally a regular schmegular ass weekend like I made as much as I normally would any other weekend and it's weird because they're always like oh it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy a lot of money blah I did not work the Sunday before the game, and I did not work Monday, so I can't speak to how it was. But for what I'm hearing from management and the club, it was just regular. So now, I'm hoping that this weekend's better, but I feel like it's not because of the ticket holders. I could explain, but I'm not trying to get into it too much on my channel here. Um, it's a Sunday midday game. So I'm going to be working tomorrow night, Saturday, which I'm hoping people come in from out of town and spend some money. But again, due to the type of ticket holders, I am doubtful. And that's what kind of really sucks, is that even though it is slow season, it's dry. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, but basically, I am just kind of bummed because it is definitely a slow season in my city and state as well and even though I live and work in an NFL like NFL football city the strip club is dead and let me tell you something about my club is ours is the only one in the county the only one <laughs> You have to drive at least 30, 40 minutes to get to the next one. And again, we're in a NFL city, so I don't understand. Man, it's just rough because the fact that we had a home NFL game, which you know what that means. That means there's out of towners who come in and want to spend money. They want to see the girls. But the girls are literally making just as much as they would on a on an average weekend. So it's kind of like, so it's slow season. I don't know how much longer it will last. I'm really hoping by the time Halloween comes around, it picks back up. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll tell you guys first. I do have plans. I told you in my Q and A video, but I'll tell you again. I do have plans to leave the strip club. Um, in general, I'm just, personally, I'm just burnt out. Um, I would like to have my weekends fully back, even though I do only work one day extra a week, and that's an easy job. Like, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest, being a house mom, where I work isn't, like, where I work is an easy job. Like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> 
and I love the girls, I really do. I'm just burnt out, you know. Since the day that I've started, I have tracked each shift that I've worked, how much I've made. And I was looking back on all that, and I have only, in the almost year that I have been a house mom, I have taken off two weekends in a year. Two. So I'm burned out. It's... Uh, the vibe has just been really off. And it's honestly because it is slow season and it shouldn't be for where we live. So I just... I'm... I'm I have a very solid exit plan that'll be happening sooner than you think. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of where I'm at is I just... I took a house mom job as a temporary fix to a financial situation. If you want to hear about that, I can do a story time on how I got started working at the strip club. I think I will do that anyways, whether you want it or not. <laughs> uh, high key, low key. <laughs> um, I got into some financial troubles. No one to blame but myself. Okay. We all make mistakes. It's whatever. So that's why I started. And it was only supposed to be temporary. But I'm, like, I'm telling, like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, I cannot think of an easier job than being a house mom. Like, and making as much money as I do, you know? Um, when it comes to being a dancer, like, you gotta put up with a lot of fucking bullshit, man. I'm not, people like to only show the good parts on YouTube. But the shit that I hear about and the shit that I see with my own eyes, it's a lot of nonsense that I personally couldn't do. Like, I had talked about in my Q&A video that it's not on the cards for me. And you want to know why? It's because these customers be on some fucking bullshit. And I am too trill of a person to let that shit go. <laughs> Because when it comes to getting along with other dancers, that's a whole situation. When it comes to getting along with management, that's a whole situation. But dealing with the clients, the customers that come in, they be fucking trying it. And I couldn't do it because I had to literally either punch someone in the fucking face or choke someone out. <laughs> so uh, it's just not for me. I absolutely have the utmost respect for dancers because they pu they put up with so much bullshit. Like they put up with so much bullshit. It's it is not okay. Like I'm talking literally being like sexually assaulted pretty much every day. Let's be honest. It's not okay. It's part of the industry. I do not condone it at all, but it's a sad, hard truth of being a dancer is you gotta put up with some shit, man. And especially if your bouncers are not on it. Oh, it couldn't be me. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that is it could not be me. But yeah, um, I kind of lost track of what I was talking about, but I'm at Popeye's. We're gonna see how much that I make tomorrow, Saturday. And usually for home game days, um, we're supposed to bring in food. So like one time I brought in a bunch of Buffalo Wild Wings, like a bunch, which barely got eight. I forget that I'm dealing with dancers who don't eat. <laughs> um, clearly I do. Yeah, I don't know, my, my manager texted me that I should just bring in snacks but he sent it for tonight, Friday. And I'm like, I don't work Friday. Should I still bring in food on Saturday? And I just get, okay. Retrograde. <laughs> Done at the bank, y'all. I want to say thank you so much for joining me on this week's video. I will have another strip club vlog next Saturday. I think I'm gonna move strip club vlogs to Saturdays because it just goes together, like strip club Saturdays, you know? So stay tuned for that. Next week I'll be posting another video and I have other content coming on Monday. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any 
comments, suggestions for future videos, please let me know um, in the comments below. Please give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye.